I just don't want it. Like, chat, like, I'm gonna tell y'all, chat. I seen both of them come up, chat. I'm not gonna lie. I seen both of these guys come up, bro. So it's kind of, I don't know, bro. It just, I don't know, man. I think us Virginians need to learn how to stay together. But then again, Rod's not actually from here. So, actually, makes sense. But he came up out here, so. I don't know, man. They they both doing good in life, bro. I'm really surprised this video is being made, bro. They used to, like, when I seen these two together the, for the first time, bro, they were, like, best friends, bro. I don't know what's going to happen, bro, but let's watch this video, man. 49 minutes and 15 seconds of exposing Vontae. Let's see. Vontae asked me to squeeze his balls. And that is a crazy way to start the video. And we have, bro, we only three seconds, bro. We have 50 more minutes left, bro. That's, bro, what? He asked you to do what? We have 50, bro. We have 50 minutes left. Three seconds in, that's what you say. All right, but come on. Monte asked me to squeeze his balls, and it kind of made me like mad uncomfortable because I'd never heard nobody ask me to. He asked me to kick him in the balls, and he. He asked me to kick him in the balls because he said that, that was, that's like him that's gonna turn him on. But in my head, I'm like, no, he joking. And then he was like, no, do it, do it, do it. And then so I did it, and then he was like, do it again, do it again. Like it really, it really was turning. Like I'm looking at him, and he really getting turned. He asked me to put on some sandals and step on bugs for him. I'm Monte, bro. But, like, I was telling, like, but that's not even exposing, though, bro. Like, that's not even exposing, bro. That's just, like, a weird kind of kink he has, bro, chat. Like, we can even say, like, bro, we can even say, like, that's more of exposing, bro. You feel me? Oh, let me move my, move myself, chat. My fault, y'all. But, like, you can't even really, bro, that's not really exposing, though. Like, but we are in, like, the first minute, though. We haven't watched the whole video, so let me shut up. Let me shut up and watch, bro. I'm talking too much. They called me a community tab, so um, we ended up getting into like a physical alter. And it's like sad because he was really chill and cool, and but like the bathroom thing, like that definitely like it messed me up because like I wasn't expecting. With the bug situation, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna cap. It just threw me off. Like I ain't never heard, seen, went through no shit like. Are you interested in starting your own face? I'm glad. I'm glad I got to add. All people do is tell you to go to freaking five. Nobody got to add yeah, one minute into it. That's crazy. Me off, really. I remember one time he invited me to his house and I cooked or whatever. And he got mad. Like, he got so mad because I didn't want to, like, have sex with him that night. Look, constantly ask to, like. Hey, Daps. <laughs> but nah, bro, this is crazy. What the fuck? And Dimps in this video, too, is crazy work, bro. What the fuck? Hey, if y'all if y'all know this, bro, uh, this this gang right here, man, y'all definitely go give her a follow, bro. She, you know what I'm saying? She she the goat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Rub my feet or something. He'll ask for a kiss or something. And the feet part just used to throw me off. I'm really crying because like I'm scared. Like that was definitely scary, and like still to this day, I'm scared. My name is Me. Nee. My name three ninety two dog. My name is Chanel. My name is Dimples. I'm from DMV. I'm from Atlanta. I'm from New York. I'm from South Carolina, but I stay in Virginia. I met him at a basketball game like a while ago. He was DMing, DMing me on Instagram for a couple months. Eventually, after like four or five months, I DMed him back and agreed to collab on a um, YouTube video with him. So Sean had put me on a blind date with Vontae, and that's how I met him. I met him in New York. I met okay. Vontae through um, the interviews he used to do at school. My first impression, he was cool. Like, he was chill. Like, okay. when, he, like when I met him, he gave me, like, cool vibes. I guess because, like, we was, like, around everybody. He was okay. just chill. He was laid back. He was cool. He was, like, asking me how my day was and, like, and like when we was, like, going to collab and stuff. All right. I'm not going to lie to you. My first impression was he, like, was nothing like how he was on camera. He was completely, like... Different personality on camera and off camera. I would say at first he came off funny, and then like 
like after the blind date, he was trying to like, like be flirtatious and get me to stay with him. So it, it rubbed me the wrong way. Um, at first I thought he was- Okay, bro. All right, so like, how did, bro, what? It was a blind date he was trying to hit, bro. Like, you can't really, bro, come on, bro. You can't, you can't, all right, let's be real. Let's be real, chat. Okay, no, let's be real. Let's be a hundred. Let's be a thousand. A girl flirting with you like that inside the car, bro. Are you not going to try to smack? Let's be a hundred. Let's be a hundred, bro. Content creator or not, bro. I'm going to be a hundred, bro. Unless you on your own shit, bro. If Shawty's feeling you, bro, she bad, bro. A lot of niggas are smacking nine times out of ten. She even say, oh, this is just for a video. She's just like, just let that shit go on. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. But, I mean, I guess I see what she's saying. But it's only, we only three minutes in, so. Come on, He didn't bro. give me, like, weird stuff at first. I felt like everybody was cool. It was just on some good YouTube vibes, vibes content creating vibes, stuff like that. When the things started changing was like, when he would DM me, like, I would post something cute on my story or something, and like, he would DM me, like flirting with me, and then like the second time, no, the third time I had seen him, that's when it like it got weird. Probably like after the video, I started to notice like, no, not after the video, in the video, like when the camera would cut off. I remember a supporter had came up beside him and was like, "Oh my God, you Vante 1K," and he was like cool with him when the window was down. He rolled the window up and instantly was like, "Man, that that lame man, blah blah." blah. I'm like. To be on it, to be on it, right? Now she said, okay, so bro be fake loving his fans. To be on it, there's a lot, there's a lot of YouTubers like that. To be fair. He's not the only one. A lot of the YouTubers y'all watch, do that. And you watch people y'all praise, bro. You feel me? Streamers, I can't talk about. I know a lot of YouTubers, though. They act exactly like that. Which is, you know what I'm saying? It's okay, cool, bro. You don't know him in real life. He just watches videos, bro. So he don't have no allegiance towards you, bro. Just saying. You know me, just starting YouTube. I'm like, dang, like this how YouTubers act off camera. So not YouTubers. Don't 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 put that on all YouTubers. No, no. I don't. I swear to God, bro. Like I don't act like that. Nobody else acts like that. Well, I'm not gonna say nobody else. A lot of people that I'm cool with don't act like that. Some people be weird though. I'm gonna be on it. That's how some people act though. Like, you know, shit ain't what it was. I mean, they humans at the end of the day, bro. I would say. When he moved here, I had a falling out with him. When he moved here, he started being a little different. But really, me and Vontae been going back and forth, uh -huh. like prior to him moving to Atlanta. He would constantly like, we would constantly get into arguments and like he would call me out my name many times, like just talk down on me. And then when he was about to, I think he, he already got his apartment here. When he got his apartment here, we was at a B&B &B or whatever, and Vontae called me a community tab, so um, we ended up getting into like a physical altercation. A community he was tab, what that mean? jealous for no reason, and he really did have no reason to be jealous over anything. He really felt some type of way that I was like, I don't know, cool with his friends. So he kind of felt threatened, I feel like. When we stopped doing our videos and we had that little beef in okay. for a while, and then we got back cool, but it started getting like weird. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so look, we five minutes in. What did he make you do? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me. <laughs> bro, cause nah. Bro, what the? F no, my fault, bro. I got. I just got a text message, but um. Fuck was I about to say? Um, what did he make you do is crazy work though. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a hundred. I'm gonna be a hundred. I'm gonna be a hundred. What did he do? What did he make you do is crazy work. I was about, all right, bros. Fuck, I tried to give him a pass chat. I tried to give him a pass chat. I tried, I tried. I'm not gonna lie, I tried. I tried to give him a pass, bro. I try to give this nigga a pass, bro. Hi, Jay. Today we've been mourning the loss of our cat Angel Angela. She died at 12 years old to heart disease. She would be loved and gave birth to two kids before her passing, which we still have her babies. We named them Angel and Nick. Dang. I'm sorry to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Um, praying for your family. Hope you guys get better, man. No cap. He asked me to kick him in the balls. 
Oh. And oh. He he asked me to kick him in the balls because he oh. said that, that was, that's like him that's gonna turn him on. But in my head, I'm like, no, he joking. And then he was like, no, do it, do it, do it. And then so I did it, and then he was like, do it again, do it again. Like it really, it really was turned. Like I'm looking at him, and he really getting turned on from it. So then I'm like, okay, nah, he's weird. So, so all right, so so we say this, we say this, right? All right, so so look, 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 look chat, look. All right, so we say this though, be a hundred. Now, so we can we can obviously say this, counting this girl right here, this one, this is one out of the four, I think it was a three, four. This is one out of the four that was saying he wanted to smack. I was not going. So how do you, bro, how do you even get to that situation? No, like, listen, though, chat. How y'all get to that situation, though, if she not trying to let you hit? Let's be honest, bro. I'm not trying to, I swear to God, I'm not trying to fan for Bonte, bro, but let's be real. How do you, how do you get to that situation? How do you get to that situation? And, you know what I mean? Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me, bro? You know, feel me? We decided to bury her in our backyard. She was such a good cat. Oh, not for real, but as I know that I know that hurts the heart of the family, man. I hope you guys have a good day, or um, you know what I'm saying. I hope she lived a great life. I'm praying for y'all, but for real. I went. I got a call like from one of my friends, and like okay. I went in the bathroom, and then like as I'm like going in the like as I go in the bathroom, like it was cool. Then all of a sudden he, cause he was in the living room, he just like come in the bathroom, and then like. Like trying to get in the bathroom to oh, break in, in the bathroom to like come in. So then I'm like, like what? I'm texting. I'm like, what? He like, where you at? I'm like the bathroom. But he already knew I was in the bathroom. Like that's weird. And like, it's like he chasing me down. He asked me to put on some sandals and step on bugs for him. Like squish the fuck out of him. Like it was just, I don't know. It was just weird. He was just like, he like it. Like. One time when we was when like when we was setting up the video, he had texted me and was like, "When the last time you stepped on a bug?" And I was like, like "Step on bugs? He wants you to step on bugs?" <laughs> bro, but like this is a thing, bro. Like you can't so you can't joke people about that, right? Because everybody has something weird about them that they like, bro. I'm gonna be a hundred. Everybody has something weird about them that they like. Which is cool. We humans, bro. That's a weird kink, bro. Like, I don't know. That's some weird shit, though. Question is that, but I'm thinking, like, you know, he's just trying to start a conversation on some weird shit, but I guess he was, like, dead serious, because then in person, he was like, oh, what size shoe you wear? You can put these sandals on and step on these bugs. I'm like, what bugs? Then he walked in his closet and pulled out a box of bugs. I guess it turned him on. I don't, I don't really know. I guess it turned him on. He really, he really ain't say too much. He was just like, do it. But he ain't never like, like that was it. He was just like, do it. Like he like it, do it. We weren't dating at all. So I, I, I know most of y'all probably seen the video where he made a video about me talking about I'm canceled. He was like, oh, 392 doll or whatever her name is. You knew what my name was, first of all. Second of all, we were never really dating, never. We were supposed to meet up for a video, do the video, okay, collab, you said you wanted to make videos, okay, boom. So in the midst of, okay, mind y'all, it's, it's around November, it's around Thanksgiving. So I had made the video prior to, th probably like three days before Thanksgiving. So after uh, I had made the video with him, me and Vante, we didn't text or nothing at all. Okay. So in the video, like he said, when he was like, oh, uh, I was, I heard him or whatever he said, like I was cheating with him, cheating on him, whatever. I had came up here because he was like, okay, come up here, we gonna hang out, do another video, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool, okay. so I'm up here. I don't, mind you, I don't hear from him the whole day. So I'm like, okay, I ain't, I ain't. Did you know that you're I'm glad, I'm not, channel? like, low key, bro, I'm glad she's like that ad came, bro, because what was she talking about, bro? I don't talk about nothing. Stun it. So I go hang out with my friends. I had met SRT Blue. So we go, we doing, we, we doing whatever we doing. Okay. I happened to be with some of his homeboys, but I didn't know at the time. But even then I was still on some cool shit. Okay. So we leave, 
I go to sleep, I wake up, boom, the video out the next morning. But mind y'all, before I went to sleep, he was calling me. In the video, he made it seem like I just was calling him, trying to make my peace. Y'all, this man called me at least 10 times back to back once people started posting me on their story and or the word got back to him. He okay. started calling me back to back to back. So, no, when I, when I was calling in that video, I was returning his calls. When I was like, oh, what are you talking about? Like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? Like, bro, what the next bitch at, bro? Girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What the fuck is she talking about? was around that day, know that. One time, Thank you, Vontae bro. asked me to squeeze his balls. Whoa. And it kind of made me, like, mad uncomfortable because I'd never heard nobody ask me to do that. I guess. And people have fetishes. Bro, like, come on. But the thing is, y'all don't, don't have to. All right, bro, I understand. But y'all don't got to air him out like that, bro. That's crazy. Like, like, bro, everybody has something weird about them, bro. I'm not trying to be on his side. Everybody has something weird about them. But that was crazy, though. I'm not going to lie. That was really, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> but, like, you got to, bro, you got to let people live sometimes, bro. But, like, and then if I didn't want to do it, he would, like, get upset. He acts to, like, you know, jerk him off with my feet before so i don't do there's a lot like there's that. a lot of guys that do that and i remember there was a time like when i was trying to be cool with him was this before the fight this might have been before i got into a fight with him i remember one time he invited me to his house and i cooked or whatever and he got mad like he got so mad because i didn't want to like have sex with him that night he literally turned over in the bed and did not speak to me just because i didn't want to fuck <laughs> i can't lie bro it's a so okay we're, we're nine minutes and 40 seconds in. You better be 10 minutes, basically. They haven't said anything crazy except for that one girl who said he was trying to open the door while she was in the bathroom. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. But everything else, bro, has been nothing crazy. That's something that regular dudes do. I can't lie. I, some guys, bro, they don't get no yams, bro. They're not talking to you, bro. That's that's just how that's just how life works. That's how some men work, bro. I'm going be, to be, keep it a band. That's how it is, bro. I don't know what what bro talking about though. He will constantly ask to like rub my feet or something. He'll Touch ask for a kiss or something. And the feet part just used to throw me off because now my feet not ugly, but it just used to throw me off because like why are you feening, you know, to massage my feet, to touch my feet. And if I say no, like, we'll be in the car, and if I say no, then he'll, like, get mad or throw a fit. And I'm like, are you mad because you can't touch my feet? You know, it'll be stuff like that, so. I don't know what's... That can be tight, he can't get buzzed, I don't know. bro. <laughs> you like, can be tight, he can get buzzed. I've felt that, though. Or what? But Not the feet yeah. part, that's crazy. It but. made me feel scared, because, like, like, I'm, I'm, like, my life was in... I'm not about to do nothing, like, okay. trying to force me. And it's, like, sad because he was really chill and cool. And, but, like, the bathroom thing, like, that definitely, like, it messed me up because, like, I wasn't expecting that. And it just, it scared me. Like, it definitely scared me. I, and I didn't like that. And I'm really crying because, like, I'm scared. Like, that was definitely scary. And, like, still to this day, I'm scared. And, like, I would be scared for, like, the next female. So, like, yeah. Okay, with the bug situation, I Okay, so she is the only person. She's literally the only person. Literally the only person. That could say something like that, but I'm not gonna lie. She, this is the only, she's the only person. She should be the only person in this video, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Everything else is not bad, bro. That's how some regular dudes act like. That's... But I'm gonna stop pausing, though. I be pausing too much. I ain't gonna cap. It just threw me off. Like, I ain't never heard, seen, went through no shit like that. So that was just, that threw me off real bad. But the video, the video made me want to quit YouTube. I wanted to yeah. give up on my influencer dream just because of the backlash that his supporters was giving me, not even knowing my side of the story or not even knowing this man is lying to social media saying works, something Mom. about That's me that ain't true. Social like, media how works, can y'all be in my comments bashing me and y'all don't know me? But then again, I feel like it's on me for just now coming out and speaking my side of the part because. Thank you, thank you. At I least, was just scared at least you owned up to it, bro. I had really no reason to be scared of, you know. Thank so you, bro. mentally, I ain't gonna lie, it messed like me up her, mentally. Bro. I ain't. I just now started back posting on YouTube, probably like three months ago, and that happened last year. 
uncomfortable. I don't, I'm not into fetishes like that. Um, it threw me off a little bit, but not enough to be like, like completely thrown like, oh, this is weird as hell. It was just a little strange, like you keep asking about it and keep wanting to do that, do that, do that. It's like, what the, what are you, what is this, you know? Um, I told my close friends about it, but not like a lot of people. Did I tell anybody? Yeah, I did. At the, well, I don't want to say his name. At the time, I had a best friend, and I told him about it first. Okay. And when, I, when I spoke to him about it, he was shocked, but I had asked him not to say nothing. Um, I also told the, the ex at the time that he was talking about, I did tell him about it. But I think that's about it, really. Uh, yeah, maybe. I told, I know who I told, I don't know. I told my friend Kiana and my little sister Gianni. The person that knows about it the most is my little sister, and she was here when he came to VA to visit. I guess VA, not just me. Uh, this, oh my okay. God. I wish my sister was in here, because I don't even want to say it. It's actually weird, and I just remembered this. I had on a skirt. Okay, Tasha. Uh, that day. Okay. And I ain't had nothing, because Girls know, like, with skirts and dresses, you don't typically, typically, typically wear stuff under it. So when I was outside, he said something like how he could see whatever down there. I'm like, what? But he said that in vanish mode. He would do that a lot. He would always put stuff in vanish mode. I never knew why. But that's weird as well. Because why are you steady putting stuff in vanish mode? Like you're either hiding something or you know you're about to say something strange and outrageous. And he said sure. it before he even said something about the skirt. He was like, you're going to think I'm weird for this. And I'm yeah, like, I'll say that. I'll say that. I'll say that. Said, That's the part Vontae really wrong about, though, right? I'm going to be honest. That. So the wearing stuff, okay, like, he can't control that. But, like, he didn't say, like, yo, you need to put something else on because I could see all the way under there type shit. Like, you feel me? He he said, yeah, like, I could see that. Like, that's should turn me off type shit. Like, I think it's a way, I think it's a way you had to go by, like, certain stuff. Like, because that, you just can't just, I don't know, bro. You can't just go out nowhere and say something like that. that Chat, like, and I didn't just know how to respond, so I was just laughing. I'm like, oh, okay, like, what? A message to Vontae would be, first you was cool, but, like, you need help, because that's okay. weird. Like, So, I wonder if the whole video it. just them. No, this nigga raw hopped in the video. Oh shit. I, I, I'm exposing the video. I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't wait to watch weird. the rest of this. That's a weird thing. I've never heard that. But hopefully, like, you haven't did this to other people, other girls. My advice to him would be to find yourself, to be happy within yourself, stop trying to compete with everybody. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be cool. Like, it's not, life not a competition. You don't got to use other people. You don't got to make other people feel uncomfortable just because things didn't go the way that you wanted to go. Like, just, just be yourself, be cool. Well, don't be yourself because you being yourself. Just be cool. <laughs> My message to Vontae, really would to be humble yourself. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I would say that because of all the shit that he's said to me, like he's talked down on me. For somebody, for him to like like me, he's talked really bad about me. Like called me out my name, told me I was never gonna be nothing. So I would say humble yourself because you feel me? Like all the shit you have could be here today and gone tomorrow. So I don't know, man. He's called me a bitch. He's called me a I think maybe like a thought or like a whole told me I was never gonna be anything. Um, he tried to down. How has Shopify enabled your business to scale? I ain't gonna lie. Isn't that as bad as I thought it was? Which is good. Which YouTube is good, channel. chat. Which is good. Oh, uh, just shit like that. My message for him um, is probably not to be so like forceful when it comes to things. I wouldn't say you're. Let me reword it. I wouldn't say you're forceful. But just calm down on the the sexual stuff or seeing stuff like that, how you saw me in the dress and saying little stuff. Yes, that was weird. Cause not everybody is on that with you. you I know? feel like, I feel like I feel like bro is I feel like bro is one of those people, bro, like that says whatever comes to his mind. 
He's really one of those. Like he'll say like if something comes to his mind, he's gonna say it. Which is crazy. It's crazy where you don't say everything that comes to your mind. So I think that's I think that's what he is though, for sure. I think that's what he is though. Some people just want to be cool with you. Or even if you did you used to talk to people or like how we did a series and stuff like that. Okay. That doesn't mean like we on that timing. You know? Okay. Just yeah. be mindful of who you're talking to when it comes to this this stuff. Especially if they not your girlfriend or if y'all not talking or if y'all not even doing that. It shouldn't be no stuff said like that. I feel like Vontae on his channel, like his subscribers, if they watched him, some of them probably know me and a lot of them like used to come at me and stuff like that. And I feel like I never really said my side of the story. He just got on the internet Pepe and made himself blood. seem like a victim. Um, the time that he posted that I went out on a date when we weren't even dating, like I could date who I want to date and like they were trying to make me seem like I was a hoe for that and I did him wrong. So I would say that's why I'm choosing to speak out because I feel like I've never spoke on it for real and I just let people run with whatever narrative they wanted to. I'm choosing to just not speak on it because I'm not gonna lie, last year I wasn't the girl that I am today. Now I don't, I don't care like you know, I ain't gonna let nobody step on me, but last gotcha. year, the person that I was just now really getting on social media, I was just scared of what came with it. Like, they was already bashing me on every social media account I had, like comments, like Damn. even to this day, like I just got a comment earlier day. about him. To this so, day, like, I was just, to this day. I ain't wanna go through that, what it put me through mentally the day that it happened. I was just scared. Of well, this video is probably gonna help. I would say spread awareness, to be honest, but there's nothing I personally Bro, spread awareness about what? Low key, I'm not gonna be a hundred, bro. He act like a lot of some of these content creators out here, bro. I'm gonna be a hundred. A lot of these content creators out here that y'all meet, bro, or that y'all watch on a day to day basis, bro. Some of these niggas are weird, bro. They're real life weird, but that's okay though. That is okay. Like literally, like, let me tell y'all though. Chat is okay. You know why? You wonder why, chat? You wonder why? Because they're humans. They're humans, bro. They're humans. And you wanna know something that I know about humans and everybody else watching this video? Y'all be acting weird or some stuff too. Let's be a hundred, bro. Everybody not a hundred percent cool. Everybody not a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like, bro, let's be real, bro. Like, be a hundred. We all did, did some weird shit. We did some out of pocket shit, bro. Everybody has did something crazy for sure. Everybody, especially you, my age. I am twenty two right now. Everybody has did something out of pocket, whether it's Sexual, crazy, wild. I'm not saying like you had to do nothing crazy to somebody, but you had did something that people will feel like is weird. So it's like, spread awareness about what, bro? That humans are weird. Yes, humans are weird, bro. I'm sorry, humans are weird. It is. It is a Sunday, January twenty first of twenty twenty four, and you're finding out that humans are finally weird. What the fuck, bro? Come on, bro. Personally, real. could do by myself to stop that. Like, at the end of the day, even after this video, he probably still might be on that type of shit. So, that's on him, for real. Yeah, like, my thing is, I what do you think so, a video uh, gonna do? Oh, this, just, this is probably I wanna know. Hold on, give me one second, chat. Bro. For real. All right. Uh, I don't know. Hey, y'all. So, um, I'm going to just jump straight into this video. This right. is my truth. As y'all know, um, on the internet, when it comes to the internet, first of all, before I start this video, I'm going to let y'all know I don't know how to talk straight. Um, I just be skipping shit. My brain be going all over the fucking place because I have so much to say. So, if I'm all over, try to, you know, try to stay okay. on track. But with everything I will be saying, it's facts because I'm a businessman, you know, I'm a business owner, investor, you know, all that shit. I, I work with legal teams and shit like that. So I know legal actions that could come out of this shit. So I would never sit up here and say shit that's not facts. I would never sit up here and lie on somebody's name if it's not facts because I'm big on mental health. I would not want to fuck with some Actually, you know what's crazy, bro? Chat, I actually believe this nigga. 
No lie, I actually believe him. He could like okay, so Chad, we, he could have just like got some extra like people to just come up here and just say something crazy. But I don't think he would do that though. Only reason why I feel like he don't, I don't feel like he won't do that. I feel like I say this, I feel like he's a cocky nigga for sure. Which is nothing wrong with that, bro. He worked for what he got, bro. How y'all gonna be mad about he's happy with what he got, bro? You can't really be mad about that, bro. Let's be honest, bro. Chad, like some like let's be real, bro. Like y'all lazy, bro. At home we lazy. He went up and got like got the bag, bro, and and y'all mad that he's acting that way because he got a bag, bro. That sounds stupid, bro. I'm not gonna cap, but I don't think bro is lying because he know it will affect him. And he feel like, I feel like he won't do nothing that dumb to put himself in a situation where he gets like you know what I'm saying. We get uh, not sued, but what's that John call uh, charged with defamation of character? I don't think you can get like sued. I don't think you can get sued for def. Can you get sued for defamation of character? I don't know. If I know, I'm I don't lying. Know. So everything I've been saying like today that. is shit that I've been holding. I don't think you can charge defamation of character. You can't get charged. You know I how long get... me and Vontae have been going back and forth? I let them have every win, but I just troll because I'm a troll. But that's my little brother, and I always try to protect his mental health. Now, with the Glow J situation, I feel like they dragging it way too much out of proportion and they're making Ross seem like the bad person, even though they know I'm trolling, they're taking it too serious. So everything I'll be saying today, I'll be showing proof because I have- It said, this ugly ass nigga. Yo, Zion, bro, suck my dick, bro. Hold my nuts, bro. Swing it in the back of your mouth, bro, and spit it out, bro. Fuck nigga. I have receipts. Now, up, though, before bro? I get into that, I'm gonna let y'all know something. Ra is the most hated because why? People know Ra is so important to their business. People know Ra is it. so important to so their now, social you, media. People know Ra is so successful. People know Ra is so smart. And you know what they told the internet? Ra is so ignorant. Ra is not humble. Ra is this. Ra is that. Guess what I did? It's marketing. I ran with it. I ran with it. Yeah. Ra not humble. Yeah, I'm not humble. Fuck that nigga. Fuck this. Bro, I'm a troll. I troll all the time. Would you, would you smart? Would right? you smart? What's good, ma'am? So what, you, what you doing, bro? I let shit slide, right? Fonte 1K, Glow Jays. Now, we're going to start with Glow J, right? And Nigga, ain't I this know... video called Surviving Vontae 1K? We talking about Glow J 4. I'm going to make a separate video, man. Man, I don't care about Glow J, bro. I mean, he's a good content creator, but I don't care about that, bro. I'm trying to hear about Vontae. Bro, I don't care about Glow J, man. <laughs> He a millionaire though, bro. Shout out to him, bro. Getting the cut, bro. Keep grinding, big bro. I'm proud, bro. I appreciate He's watching you, bro. this. I'm proud of you, bro. Right? You grinding. I'm proud of you, I'm bro. I'ma just give y'all a. Let I'm gonna give y'all a rundown city, on what led up to this situation, but then I'ma backtrack to how this shit really, really started. All right, that's what I'ma do. Okay, let's I'm look. tired of. It's I'm raining. Tired I'm of raining. Being you know what I'm saying? Guy, just to you know what make. Saying? them look good and take the win even when I'm I'm really the winner. Okay. You know? Let's hear. I'm gonna start with Glow J. How I met Glow J's. I DM Glow J's on Instagram. I was like, I fuck with your work. Keep doing what you're doing. Cause I was doing public interviews around the time he was doing the homeless videos. He told me that he appreciated all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Here's one thing you need to do oh, before I... buying anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch. Huh, buddy. Talking to Glow Jays around that time, it was like the first couple of days while I was talking to Glow Jays, I realized that, bro, like he was cool as fuck, but it was one message that he sent me that stood out to me, but I didn't really care because I'm such, I'm a person that always helping people and I really don't care about it. Everybody in my circle know that. Everybody in my friend group know that. Like, Ra is the person that's always going to help everybody. Right? I ain't gonna lie. This nigga's example. He's the, the literal example of, I'm bouncing on my own dick, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's... This nigga been sucking his own meat for, like, the last five minutes. I'm not gonna cap chat. He's speaking facts, though. He is speaking facts, but this nigga been jerking himself while bouncing on his own dick, bro, and giving himself back shots, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's all I've been hearing, bro. I'm not gonna hold you, chat. He sent me a message there. after we've been talking for like a day, day and a half. He was like, yo, how do I monetize my platform to start making more money? Nah, bro. Okay, so I'll say this. This is the only thing. 
But videos like this, I feel like it's more P if you don't drop screenshots. But since he did drop screenshots, you know what we gotta do. We gotta analyze them. <laughs> we gotta analyze them though. I feel like dropping screenshots is a bad thing. I, I hate people drop screenshots, but I feel like your videos, big bro, love. My dog. Cute that shit up. You really making a difference out here. Bro, I'm finna be in the A. Let's work. Let's go. You're. Yo, what's good, twin? How do you monetize your platforms? I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing good, but I know I can get more money out following. Okay. Right? I don't know the exact word, but I will put screenshots on the screen. He asked me how he could monetize his platform to okay. start making more money. Okay. What do we give him the rundown, tell him what I tell him, you know what I'm saying? Because I always want to help people. We talked about how he could invest more and make more money. Something about clothing brand come up. And he said, that's what I'm going to do, clothing, et cetera, et cetera. That's my greatest advice. Let's take a block of the advice. I hate this nigga, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, clothing. Okay, etc. That's why I did to make 100k off of one hoodie in two days, bro. Use, use your following. We got it for a reason, y'all. Me. The hoodie. That hoodie is hard though. Then you just motivated me. It's up on God. Hey, bro. Game. <laughs> cool. Not worried about that. But what I'm saying, all the screenshots is gonna be on the screen. Okay. Another time, he hit me, and he was like, "What's that money app sauce?" Because raw has the sauce for everything. Right. But I did out sauce. Go Jay's hundred number. <laughs> I wanna slide and see what she's talking about. Push up. Congrats, brother. What's that that money out sauce? FaceTime audio on me right quick. The fuck? Yo. This nigga don't respond to niggas. Nigga text on my birthday. Because raw has the sauce for okay. everything. But I did. I put them on. Show them how to make money on this app, like I always do. Now, on to the next situation. He posts something on his story, like he going, so basically, he posts something on his story, like he was going through something. I reached out to him, I replied to his story, which I will show a screenshot. I asked, bro, Bro, this man dropped, he didn't, he didn't drop the screenshot, bro. Okay, you good, gang? Not really, hell going on. Call me when you get the time, gang. I think I use a fake card reader at the gas station. They come and clear my account, basically. Oh, fuck. See, I can't lie. In Atlanta, bro. <laughs> yeah, they just let me know I can't use my car in Atlanta, bro. What? We've been going through it through hell lately, bro. And I don't really got nobody. I'm always alone. Man, what the fuck? Did you contact your bank and let them let them know? Oh, push up on you, bet. I left yesterday. Oh, but I left yesterday. I'll be back in two days. Let me know if you need some bread until you get shit right. I got you. I hit them up and they say you, they got to investigate since it's my debit card, not my credit card. Yeah, gang. If you, yeah, bro, what? If you could let me hold whatever till they get it right, I'm finna go make some money. But at least still in the next day, couple of days. Bro. All right, y'all. Let me give y'all some advice, though. Be honey, if y'all inside a if y'all inside a city that is known for swiping, like I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be keeping it straight, man. If you're in a city known for swiping, bro. Detroit, ATL, Miami, New York, Pennsylvania. Um, I said Pennsylvania. Uh, what the fuck am I talking about, bro? Just places like that. Atlanta. I'm talking about the whole Pennsylvania, bro. Whole Philly, bro. The whole entire damn state, bro. The whole entire Michigan, to be honest, bro. California, bro. Um, some parts of VA. Don't, bro, please don't use your car. And if y'all do use your car, bro, go inside the gas station and pay and prepay your gas, bro. I promise you, bro, somebody, I'm trying to tell you, I have seen it. I have seen it happen more than more than a lot. You feel me? I just seen people literally put their number in and then their account gets swiped. Like, all their money is gone. Trust me, I have seen it happen. I have seen it happen, bro. So that doesn't, that means that it's not hard to happen to you. I advise y'all to either prepay y'all gas. I, pre I either prepay my gas or I check the uh, I check the number. Make sure, bro, listen. If y'all do use the gas station, y'all use the gas pump, please use a credit card. They can't, they can't reach your whole shit off a credit card. Unless you're 
unless you're putting it inside the joint and then swiping it out. They can probably technically do it, but they don't. A lot of people don't have that type of stuff. That good technology. I'm telling y'all, bro. So I'm telling y'all. Listen, please listen to me, please, please. He said, Nah, I'm please. not good. I said, please. What's going on? He made up this story about him using this card at the gas station and somebody cleared his card and now he don't got no money for this, money for that. And what I did, like the person that I am, always helping people, I asked this nigga, do you need some money? I got you. And what I did, I sent him that money. He never received that money back, right? But like, Ooh. so, but like, this is a thing though. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm not worried about that. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad he said that. I'm glad he said that. Cause listen, just because you give out money, all right, so I'll be telling you something this. Cause you give out money doesn't mean you wouldn't receive it back. You be like, yo, but pay me back. Heard about Lil Boom. I'm not, I'm not, I, I probably swear to God, I'm not listening to Lil Boom, but right now, I'm not. You watch, you watching this video to the end. But Lil, I can't, lie, I can't lie, I heard Lil Boom before though. But y'all, like, if y'all see, if y'all give people money, bro, why y'all expecting it back, bro? They're broke. You know they're not gonna give that money back to you, bro. It's, if you give somebody, if somebody be like, yo, bro, let me hold a hundred dollars, bro. You give them a hundred dollars, bro. Why do you feel like in the next two weeks he's gonna give you back a hundred dollars, bro? Let's be real, bro. What, bro? He's not giving you a hundred dollars, bro. It's just not happening. You're not getting a hundred dollars back for probably like another three months, bro. Unless like, bro, get bread for real, cause like you gotta think about all the money he's gonna get, he's gonna need. Come on, chat. Let's be I'm real, bro. Let's be real with ourselves. To help people. Now I remember that he's I'm hiding off the internet. Because what do you do? Really, I never really did. Oh, really actually, no. I heard what he did. I heard what he did. No yeah, don't point. say it. Like, I'm so I'm, I'm trying to get older, bro. Like, I'm mature. I'm to get like, this is, but when you fucking with my brand to this extent, and mind you, this is gonna be the last video I'm doing. Never doing another one. I just want to expose the truth. What that led up situation to what's going is on way worse than this. Really no, it's fat. We should react to that after this. Gojo will never ever make any straight type beef of reaction to that. What Chat. I'm making, so I'm not even worried about bro. I just want to clear the clear the situation up to let y'all know that bro really broke and whatever he got came from Rod. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. What led up to this situation was. I was here. So in his video that he stated his response video was that Raw was pillow talking to somebody in my building about glow jays. Okay. If you really my mans, why not come to me and be like, bro, somebody said you said this and bring the nigga in front of me and tell him to say, I told him that. That's what you should have did. But you know, I know you lying because I never talked to nobody in my building about glow jays and no track off. But we're not gonna get into that track off situation because you know, nigga, I know the truth. And I got proof in my phone, the but I'm too mature for somewhere. that. I would never I would never sit on this camera for these fucking 12 year old and 14 year old niggas. They watching this shit and they just, they, this shit fuel them. Why would I talk about your track hawk on this camera? I'm not gonna do that. So don't even bring that shit up. But I got it in front of me, but the world would never fucking know. So humble yourself and tell the fucking truth, my nigga. Okay. This is what happened, right? Yo, it'd be, fun, it'd, be fun, it'd be funny he could say, tell us about the track. That'd be funny, bro. I lie, like, you just tell you gonna tell us. came to me, and it was like, yo, Glow Jays, was, they was like, who is Glow Jays? And I told him, they was like, yo, he was pillow talking because this girl was at my house, and he was mad that Shorty was at my house. Running around with my ops, fuck yeah. He was sad. Elaborate. Fuck me, is crazy. I don't fuck with none of them niggas you be around. They know that. Stay over there though. Shacking them? All them niggas on some personal shit. You be like, the fuck you act like that's some shit I'm already knowing. Like, not for real, bro. Okay? My house, like, Glow Jays, was basically saying, oh, you fucking with my ops. What the woo, what the woo. Bro, when was we? They hate each other. They just be around each other to be in competition. Okay, what that got to do with you or me? Not facts. I don't fuck with them, so. Some shit we had going on. I ain't gonna speak about it unless we in person. <laughs> Just know they don't like me. I don't give a fuck about them anymore. Nigga show twelve thousand. Why do you flex twelve thousand for? Hold on, let me hear. It. Let me hear what you saying. Ops. Fuck. Mobile ops is crazy. Big. I can't lie, Free chat. Ops is crazy though. Me personally, bro. Fun fact. That was my November rent money. Make more than no. What the fuck? What 
the fuck? This nigga spends 11,000. Bro, chat, you know how, bro, like, think about how much, bro, think about, like, chat, chat, be on it, right? Think about how much money you make to casually spend 11000 a month. Chat. What the fuck, bro? How much, bro, chat, like, y'all know how much money that is, though? Like, bro, y'all, y'all gotta think about it. If you're, if you casually could spend 11000 a month, bro, that means you're at least... At least touching a hundred bands. You're touching a hundred bands a month, at least. At least, chat. At least. That's probably a bad month for him. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's tough. That's tough. That's big money tough. That's big money tough. Living bands when crazy. When was we ops? We was never ops. The last time I checked, I was giving you money to survive. When was I ever your op, bro? Nonetheless, screenshots will be on the screen. I'll show y'all what happened. And then I watched, I seen a, somebody send me a clip of a video that Vonte posted and Glow J's throwing shot. The last real nigga that's out here, bro. I don't fuck with none of these niggas. You the last real nigga, that, you and that nigga. That yeah, that's the facts. I, don't, I, I hate these niggas. <laughs> and that's a shot directly at whoever. I don't give a damn. I don't like <laughs> that is an idiotic expense <laughs> that only people right. that don't really get it would make just to flex. The idiotic expense that only people die. I don't really get it with first flight. Yeah, but like eleven bands to rent is stupid. But you gotta think about it. that's the that's the money he's paying for everything though. Like for everything he has. Like everything he has, bro. You feel me? Like you gotta think about it. they got a track hawk, a lamb, other shit. So I will say this though, I ain't gonna lie, chat. Let me on him, bro. It's a lot of money, bro. That's a lot of money, bro. But even like y'all think about it, even spending eleven bands in a month, bro, you are at least you have to at least be clearing a hundred bands a month, bro. Like think bro, like you bro, to just live there. Come on, bro. Like it ain't no like even if that's a dumb expense, bro, he's making bread, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's crazy. Bro, you have to at least shot. be doing that, bro. Now me, Ra, that love to troll, Quan was recording this video. But Glow J sends shots, he never said nobody name. No, you don't? That's All right, now be 100. So if you, bro, so like this is my thing, right? If you make anything under 50 bands a month, bro, he's going to go broke. He will for sure go broke. He will go broke like this. What you mean, bro? Like, bro, what? He made anything, if he makes anything under 50, bro, he will go broke doing that. And you got to think about he's been staying in the same place. For what? Like, he been staying in the same place for a minute, bro. Like, it's been at least like a year. He is, it's a slow bleed. He is, is a slow bleed? I don't think so, bro. I'm gonna be on it. I don't think he's going broke at all. I think if anything, he's getting richer, bro. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it just that. He never said nobody's name. I made a comment in Quan's video throwing shots, just left, right throwing shots, but I never said no name. Now, when I woke up in the morning, Vontae DM me. Glow J's making video. Just Make yourself a show. You know, keep a dick in your mouth. That's your favorite hobby. But I'm not even finna go back and forth with you. Oh, I got something for that. Nigga, you broke. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, you know, like, bro, you know, but Stop you know. letting these people sell you dream that they will never achieve. Nah, alright, so only reason why, only reason why I say he's getting bread, because I actually, like, I actually knew, bro. Like, I actually knew him, bro. I actually knew him. Before he, like, before he moved, bro, he was getting bread. I'm not gonna lie. I can only imagine what he's getting right now, bro, but he told us what he made back then. I can only imagine what he makes now. He has to at least be clearing 100 bands. I'm not going to lie to y'all chat. He's not broke. And I'm going to tell y'all that, bro. And y'all see y'all see the YouTube, bro? It's not his YouTube he's making money off of like that. I'm going to keep it a straight band. It's not. He probably is getting hella checks from YouTube, but it's not what his main stuff is, bro. Um, I'm going to tell, tell you this, though. This is wild, though. His first insult was, nigga, you broke. Thank you for that Lambo, you ungrateful bitch. 
One thing about it is I see here everything, so don't play in my fucking face, little boy. We could take it there. Get your shit together and get off the internet. Broke? Man, you crazy. It's fuck. Nowhere near broke. I've known you for a long ass time holding on by a thread, bitch. You're the Brooklyn. You're the guilty. Conscious. Got you fucked up. Just keep sucking Quan's dick. Your clothing brand will pick up soon. <laughs> nah, I'd laugh. He probably sell courses. Nah, he don't sell courses. I'm telling you he don't sell courses. I mean, he actually he does. But that's not what he's getting his bread off of, mainly. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell y'all, bro. I'm not like no dicky in. No dicky in, though. Nigga make bread. No dicky. Nigga been making money since I met him, bro. Straight up a thousand. I can't even lie and say the nigga broke, bro. Or he's going broke. Because I don't believe it. The way he was moving then, I wouldn't believe it, bro. And he's only better now. Just so fast. Like, they so un hungry for money. Like, just fast. Back-to-back -back videos. But I never said no name. I throw my rocks. And whoever it hits, it hits. And they show that that motherfucker hit him. So what they did, they went and make a video on the internet. But the video on the internet is straight cap. But let me go back a little bit, right? Let me go back a little bit. Glow J's best friend is partner that cut him off because the type of person he is. I'm not going to name drop, but I'm sure y'all know who I'm talking about. Okay. The nigga came to me. This was No dicky gets to gobbling his shit. What shorty say till you felt it in the punching bag at the end of her throat? How the fuck? I didn't even know you was in here when I said that. It was just crazy. Your, your whole ass was lurking, bro. You think a bitch has to get away with that shit. But it's not a dicky, though, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, if you if you see, like, if you know somebody that actually grind to get their stuff, bro, like, and they showed you the process they did, bro, you're not going to say bro is broke. Like, let's be real. Come on, bro. Like, let's be real. Let's be real, chat. Like, can we be, a, like, 100% though? Like, that ass. It's like... Yo, Glow J say you don't like you, you don't like you and Quan because y'all feel like y'all better than everybody. Y'all feel like y'all doing this, y'all feel like y'all doing that. Why you feel like that? Because you feel like we doing good. You feel like we doing better than you because we're supposed to be partners, right? We're supposed to be cool. Now, copy that. Gone. Scratch that, right? Okay. Glow J's later, after the nigga told us that, he went and he unfollowed me on Instagram, right? I don't care about a follow, but I'm really not a social media person, bro. I don't care about a follow on, on Instagram. It was just weird to me, right? You know, follow me on Instagram. And then I seen him a couple days later, the same day I bought my Lamborghini. I went to Emily Art Center where they used to live. That was a minute ago, oh, yeah. Emily Art Center in, in Midtown where they used to live. Pulled up in my Lambo. He came out. You could see the envy in his eyes. He was like, yeah, that shit hard, smirk a little bit, hopped in his Lexus, and he dipped. Now, mind you, I'm not the, I'm not really the type of person to be like, yo, why you want to follow me? Why? I just played my cards and, you know, just keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? So after all that shit happened, you know, never... Low-key, bro, I forgot this video's about Vontae, bro. I'm not going to lie, chat. Like, I think I'm talking about Glow J, bro. I don't give a fuck about that nigga, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to keep it straight, man. I'm trying to hear what happened with him. Confront the nigga bro. never said anything. Loki, should we just skip in this part? In the summertime, I guess I, mean, I was driving we, on the listen? street and he texted me and he was like, yo, just seeing you. Why the fuck are you texting me, bro? You already doing all this fake shit. We not cool, apparently, because you want to hate on somebody that's doing good. That's really what it is. You want to hate on somebody that's doing good. But this is my message to you, bro. I'm not even going to go, I'm not even going to go on the notes because as y'all noticed, I didn't even look on the fucking notes because I'm so heated because this is somebody that I would send money to, I would, this is somebody I would help out. This is somebody that would ask me questions about getting monetized. This is somebody that is my son, right? And Yo, that's crazy. To the level. Nigga said, it's my son. <laughs> Nigga just, bro, would say, that's my son. That's crazy. Nah. Nigga said, he's his son. What the fuck? Here's the, here's the, here's the thing that got me. Oh my God, me. son. You showing... One Amex card, one Discover card, whatever them cards was. But did you forget that Ra is the genius behind everything and Ra is the one that's popping it? Yeah, Ra is the, the one that's popping it. Because you're showing one Amex card, but did you, 
you know I have you know I have seven Amex cards, right? You know I have Chase Safari, right? You, you know I got all these things, right? You know credit, you know credit, you know I I put you on to that credit shit. Do you remember that? I would show y'all a screenshot, but I don't feel like going. I just DM'd her. You wanna get on the phone with her? Hell yeah, I'll be at my BNB in 30 minutes. But let me know when you're ready. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna see chart 2K, I think. I'm gonna work out my work promo out a lot for my pocket as uh, she at ACL, not Chicago. She's the best game. Bet I'm a death attack fuck where we outside, bro. Yeah. Credit? Yeah. You do credit stuff. Well, back in the DMs, when you <clears> was asking me for... Homie is credit, putting all those expenses in credit, like dog. I put you down on that credit shit. Now, if I need to show that screenshot, I will put that screenshot... I told you he wasn't touching that. Bro, listen. I am telling you. I am telling... Listen. I am telling you for myself. I have seen it. Like, chat, I'm just not going to lie to y'all, bro. I'm dead ass. I'll be on it, bro. Put you down. The niggas make now, money, bro. You stop though. Shout out to them though, for That you get monthly. He is not making all said, the back to pay it you back. You got fifteen thousand coming in every all month, right, bro. bro. do you know that's not even you, that's not covering my bills every month? I'm not. I don't like to name drop. I don't like to name drop. But for the sake of this video, I know. Have you seen know the interest rate say T M? Yeah. No, I'm just crazy. Let me just this crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Did you know yo, the NFL yo, T, why are you talking like? Why are you talking like you eight, over the age of eighteen? Like, DM Key from Collab Studios. This is straight facts. Fifteen thousand dollars is what I make from my Snapchat show every month. Not even posting. DM Keith right now. If y'all think I'm capping Keith, I'm sorry for putting your name in this video. But for the sake of this video, ask Keith. Ask Keith what I make every month. Just. Off Snapchat, bro. Let's see if he's downsizing. We'll see, bro. That's my point. Stop flexing with little boy money and stop trying to act like Ra is a bad person because y'all niggas know Ra is the person that everybody gonna always need help from. Ra, they know Ra is the person. Bro, I'm the mastermind behind everything, and that's why y'all don't like me. You showing in my three story house, you do not own that house. You rent in that house, and that's a townhouse. That's little boy shit to me, bro. That Rolls Royce, the, the Rolls Royce, whatever the fuck that shit called, is like a 04, 07, 06. Bro, them shits, I'll pull up a screenshot right now. I'm going to show y'all how much a Rolls, Rolls Royce, the, the year that he had, he probably got it for $90,000, bro. He didn't pay a lot of money for that. And the Lexus, nobody want that Lexus, bro. But, you know, we not beefing. This is just my video back to you. And, um, you know, I know it might have been all over the place, but I'm showing y'all proof, showing y'all screenshots. Isn't he renting right now? Anything. This will also be my last uh, video. I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Your that. business, I'm handle my business. We don't got no problem. I'm just letting the world know the truth. You also scam your supporters because I Damn. got proof. I got text messages when the shade room got your ass. You panicking. You texting me, Rob, what, what should I do? Should I tell him I give the pre person the money? Should I tell him? Bro. I don't want to expose you for real. So, so, so stop making me look bad. You should have just let that video slide because you started this shit. We ain't had no problems, bro. You should have just let the video slide because you started this shit. It was going back and forth, no name. Just keep it back and forth, no name. But now you want to say my name. Now I'm saying your name. And I got more. Okay. I'm too mature to even put your shit out there like that, bro. Respectfully. I'm too mature, bro. Like I'm too I'm too much of a genuine person, bro. But you know, that's it. That's it for the Glow J situation, bro. Thank I'm you, not bro. even gonna Fuck, speak bro. on it too much, but niggas nah, know. Talk about Vontae, bro. We, that's what we're here for. The real. But you know, one thing one more thing I wanna say to you, bro, like I genuinely wish you the best. And I think, you know, you should stop living a facade. Maybe, you know, go to a slower city, not Atlanta, because you feel like you have to keep up in Atlanta and you feel like you have to live a lifestyle that you're not really living. You got to act like you're making the money that you're not really making, bro. Stop living a facade. It's going to fuck you ment mentally, and that shit is not healthy for you, bro. Live true to yourself. Be true to yourself, because I know the truth, and everybody may not know the truth, but 
we was behind, you know, behind the phone and behind the Instagram and shit, and we know what's going on. But respect to you, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep winning, you know, and God bless you, bro. I'm off that topic. On to the next topic, right? This is going to be a long, 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 long topic. Now, y'all know how long me and Vontae, you know, since we, well, we haven't even been going back and forth because all I've been doing is said. ignoring this guy. Like, all I've been doing is not responding to this guy. I let him have it every single time, bro. I let him, I send my little shit here and there. I troll here and there. He take it to Instagram like the little bitch he is and put it on his Instagram. Raw, take my dick. If anything, bro, you, you give me more clout. You keep tagging me on Instagram and shit like that. But today, with that being said, y'all seen the video before this. Okay. I know this information for years. Me and my friends know this information for years. He does not know that we know this stuff, but it was stuff that would always come back to us. Like girls would be like, oh, y'all that weird. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? They'd be like, Vontae this, Vontae that. But y'all seen the video before this. I feel like I had to put that in production so the world could know the type of person you are. Now, we're not going to touch topic on that because- I think I'm wrong and fat. We already- that's, that's it might be the jacket. Saying. It might be the jacket. It bro, might be the jacket. I bro. feel like, you know, I've been holding back so much for years with you, dealing with you for years, feeling like, you know, I'm your bigger brother and, you know, I know how you get mentally. I know you be depressed. I know you be laying in the bed. You be going through shit. Like, you are mentally unstable and I know these stuff, right? That's why I try not to say too much on the inter internet. That's why I never did a the truth video and just strictly talk about you in the video. That's why I hold back a lot of shit. But I feel like where you crossed the line is you broke into my apartment, stepped on my Lamborghini for clout, for, for, for 24 hours story clout. And if you did make a YouTube video, it's like, what what is gonna be in that YouTube video besides you standing on my Lamborghini, you using my Lambo for thumbnail because your YouTube is dead, both your channel is dead, you don't got no other source of income, you don't got no businesses, you don't, you are terrible at businesses, you, you don't have a business mind, you don't know how to make money, you don't know how to do none of that shit, so I know you are broke, I know that for a fact, so that's why I'm telling you, relax, if you would have reached out to me and be like, Rock, can you help me make some money, can you help me do this, you know I would do that for you, despite of everything that you did to me, bro. You broke into my shit, you stand on my car for 24 hours of clout. Right now, that's why I feel like I had to do what I did before this video. That's why I feel like I had. Is that camera do following him around? Down video right I seen here. that. Hold on, y'all seen that? Yo, that's why I feel like I had to why I feel hours of clout. Right now, that's why I feel like I had to do what I did before this video. Where, that's why I feel like I had to do. Hey, hey, Chase Aroma, appreciate you for the follow, my boy. Right, we're not even going to go you, from the top. touch base on everything that's going on. And I'm never going to drop another video because you make people think that raw ego is so big. You make people think that raw is the problem. You make people think that raw is the issue. Why you have no friends? Damn. Why do Ra have all the friends, all the partners, all the business people around him? And why are you fucking struggling mentally? Why are you so depressed? Why you have no friends? Why nobody want to be around you? Why no girls want to be your friend? Why, bro, why are your life so fucking miserable? Don't worry Damn. about it. I'm going to tell the world why, bro. Here's the thing. You running around saying you got everything by yourself or everything on your own, your girl already revealed that, so I don't even have to touch base on that. When we got back cool, you told me you went and you got that penthouse because you was trying to keep up with me, you was trying to flex on me, and you ended up going broke. And two months being in the penthouse, you went broke. Which I did. Y'all went and got a townhouse. Respect. Never laughed at you about the situation. I was like, bro, you ain't had to do that. Ha ha. You ain't had to do that. Never touch base on that shit again <laughs> because now we are cool again. And, you know, I feel like, okay, I rekindled with my brother. Like, you, it felt good because, like, li nigga, I love you. Like, nigga, you like you my brother. You know what I'm saying? Around that time, we got cool about around the same week. Um, well, not even with just the apartment. You was telling me. 
when, when, I, when I went and got my first Amex, a week later, you post an Amex on your story. Bro, everybody, y'all go back and backtrack and look at all these shit that I'm saying, all right? He posted an Amex on his story. Now, when we got cool, I'm finding out that, that Amex, he was just an authorized user on the Amex. He does not have an Amex account. And why niggas feel like Amex is just something I could flex with when Raw let y'all know what the fuck Amex was. Raw let y'all know what the value of Amex was. Raw let y'all know how all this credit shit works. Raw let y'all know how to make money. Because, you know, all these niggas that's flexing on the internet, ask them how they get the streams of income they got. It's because of Raw. And I'm smiling because this is just so, this is just so funny to me, bro. And that's why I stopped helping people now. Damn. A lot of people don't know this, but if you have yeah, the YouTube app on things, your bro. phone, you could have over $5,000 in un- I stop helping people because people always turn around and bite me. But I'm such a genius and I just always help people. And that's yeah. why I have all the friends in the world because they know the value that Rob brings. So now, y'all do the math. Fuck that Amex, now we go into the Lamborghini. And Tilda. All right, it's a lot with huh? Vontae, but I don't feel like showing all that screenshots and doing all that talking. I'm just going to touch the main topics. That Lambo, he's running around with saying that's his Lambo. He did this Lambo. He did that. I survived this Lambo. All that shit that he is saying. Let me backtrack. One, like two weeks of me and Vontae being cool again, I got my Lambo around that time. Okay. Vaughn got his McLaren around that time. Niggas was mad. Well, niggas wasn't mad, but niggas was upset when I put you down on the Lambo situation. And this, I explained to them, I was like, yo, this my brother. He always talking about Lamborghini Huracans. I know this would change everything for him. I want to do this for him. And what I did, I plug you in, had you plugged in with the people. That's on the other line, you good. Censor, he just submitted to Vontae. Yeah. Was going to get a screen right here or right here. What? I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. But what the fuck was that? What, what is that? I text the people, like, yo, my brother just submitted his application. They text me to Vante. I said, yeah, that's the application. When you was doing the application, you texted me. You was like, next, next to the gas station. Uh, hey, question. What should I put as a position here on the application? Like job wise, like if a car application, I put job Vante one K LLC and my position is. Bet bet wait out, but damn, bro, he like censoring out, bro. He trying to put us on game, bro. What's up, man? We at the studio for them leaving. It's like, okay, okay, Waffle House. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna let you know when we on the way. All right. He was asking me questions like, what do I put for my job title if I got my own LLC? But if I with the business, might I know how to do these things. And that's how I'm able to get people approved for everything that they need. Ra is a businessman, and Ra makes shit happen. I'm going to put this shit on the screen, right? With Vontae application, it was a lot of issues along the line. It was a lot of things because this nigga maxed out his credit cards. Yeah. This nigga not making payments on is time. Is Spanish Los Pinganos save Van a chain Bro, there? Let me, let, let me just tell y'all something. Bro, when what? I got Vontae approved for this Lamborghini, when I got Vontae approved <laughs> for this Lambo, this nigga was a negative. This nigga bank account was negative $400. That's how fucking good. That's how good. That's how. Nigga, you. Nah. Negative 500 is crazy, bro. This is crazy for the screenshot in there, bro. Nah, this is wild, bro. This is wild right here, chat. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I think this part, I think this part is worse than the girl's part. I think the girl's part is just like, okay, bro, he just weird. This part is just like, we get more information about why they beefing for real. This is the part we actually need to see. I could have did without the female part. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You was negative four hundred dollars, bro. Okay. You was dead broke. You was dead broke, and your excuse was I wasn't broke. You know, YouTube pay every month. But the cat. I try to understand what you were saying, XD. Yo, heads, is that you, bro? Am I am I just not going through, bro? Am I geeking right now? I don't know. Am I just geeking, chat? Bro, stop the cat. Start with the internet shit. 
I'm the reason you have that Lambo, and you was broke as fuck when you got it. You was in the negative, so let's just keep making videos. We did it, and keep pushing. Not letting, not letting you do this shit this time, buddy. Not happening. Cool your flex. Won't broke, bro. You know, YouTube pay once a month. Had shot on the way. So saying I fell off and needed y'all is crazy. And you know that. Don't even play in my face like that. I never fell off. That nigga's cap. That's cap chat. I'm not gonna lie. That's cap chat. You know what's crazy? And I'm gonna say it. He's gonna probably gonna be tight when I say this. He's gonna be tight when I say this and I don't care. I don't care. You're probably gonna get mad at me tomorrow, bro. You're gonna yell at me tomorrow for saying this. Be it 100. Being a hundred. Y'all want to know, it wasn't him who revived his career. I swear to God. It's a somebody that I go, I chill with every day. He revived his nigga career. Let me tell you, let me, let me tell you. Now, I can, I have screens, I have old screenshots of this too, which is crazy. I was going to wait like probably, I'm probably going to say this later on in life. Later, like later on when me, when me and bro get up, I'm going to repeat this. So if y'all want to clip this, I do not care. Go ahead and clip it. Go ahead and clip this. And I swear to God, this is true. I swear to God, this is true. Now, this was back in... What was that? 2021? 2021. 2021 back then in 2021. Um, it was a trend of all these videos of people going to college dorms, right? And doing something stupid. Now, look. Now, look, look. Listen, listen, listen. Now, this nigga... Bro, let me tell you. So, if y'all don't know who Steezy Go Crazy is, y'all will know. I'll find out. Steezy Go Crazy. Steezy Go Crazy. Hey, y'all can look at the dates. I promise you. I swear to God, you will see the dates. This man, Steezy Drop, um, I think it was asking asking girls to shower inside their college dorm. Something like that. It was, it was something, a video like that. It was something like that, bro. I swear to you. Now, at the time, I'm going to be 100 I'm going to be 100 at the time. At the time, Bonte won't do no crazy numbers. I'm going to keep it a man. I used to, but I, but when, I, when people say, like, when people pocket watch, I don't pocket watch, bro. I don't pocket watch. I view watch. I swear to God, I would look at everybody's views, bro. On a constant day-to-day -day basis, bro, I watch every YouTuber. I look at every YouTuber's views, find out what I'm doing wrong, find out what they're doing right. It was, like, for months in a row. It was, like, three, four, five, six months. They won't do no crazy numbers like he was used to doing. Bro, Steve did a vid like that. But why three days later? Melt did some stuff like that. Let me stay at her dorm. No, but this is back when the... Bro, he started the trend, though. But when I tell you, my friend started the trend, though. It, I, I, I have screenshots of it happening, too. He started the trend. He got, like... I don't know. He probably got a thousand views off of it. Vontae knew us. It's not like we didn't know him. It's not like we didn't know... I knew Vontae since I was... Probably like 18, 17, something like that. When I was in high school. I met him when I was in high school. Steve knew him. We we talked to them before. Like we it wasn't like we just didn't know him. Like we seen him like, oh, that's them. I knew them before they came up. It wasn't like we just oh my god, it's y'all. I knew them before they had a hundred K, before they had fifty K, before they had twenty K, before they had ten K. Like I met them. I'm going to tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it a straight band. There is somebody right now that's probably one of the creatives, most creative YouTubers I have ever seen. And he's not up yet. Why? I don't know. God has a different plan. But when I tell you he stole his video idea, which is, which, that's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. To be fair. This material was originally in movie before influences. Yes, facts. Facts it was. But it was something that he did. It was taking a shower. Asking you guys to take a shower. It was either that or... Yeah, it was taking a shower, right? And he had a towel on. This man, Vontae, copied the same thumbnail and dropped the same video three days later and hit a mill. I swear to God. Matter of fact, hold on, bro. Because I know it's up here, bro. I know he has it up here, bro. Bro, I'm not like this. I'm not even trying to dicky right now, though. But, like, I swear to God, I'm not trying to dicky chat. I swear to God, bro. Like, hey, man. 
and I, and I, I fuck with both of them, bro, for sure. I fuck with both of them heavy, bro. Look, I swear, I swear, bro, like, chat, bro, I'm not lying to you, bro. This is most viewed video ever. Ever. This is most viewed video ever. Now, look, hold on. I don't even know if bro even still has the video up. I swear to God, let me show you, bro, hold on. What does it say, bro? What does it say, chat? this on TikTok, this is our time to eat. Now look, bro, chat, what does it say? October 10th, 2021, right? Show our friends date. October 10th, 2021. All right, now let me see if, I gotta see if you still got the video up. I swear to God, cause we was in the dorm talk. I remember when it happened, bro. I remember when it happened. I was there. I gotta see if you still got the video up, guys. Hey, man. That was, uh, let's say two years ago, right, chat? Two years ago, right, chat? Let's see if he still got the video up, chat. I hope he do, bro. I'm praying he does. I'm praying he does. I'm praying he does. Uh, is, this the first, is this the first time he did it? Did he do it twice? Oh, let's see. Which one... Now look, now look, chat. Here we go. Here we go. Now look. Chat, look at the dates, bro. Chat, look at the dates, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all I'm not lying to y'all, bro. He really started the trend. I'm like, I'm not trying to be funny. He, all those videos, bro, he started the trend. He started it, bro. I'm not lying to y'all. And he has a and he has another one that's unlisted that he did before this. I'm like I'm, I cannot cap to y'all, chat. I I cannot I cannot cap to y'all, bro. This is real. And y'all like y'all and this is what I'm saying like, bro. Like when I tell y'all, a lot of big creators steal a lot like a lot of big creators steal videos from smaller creators because a lot of small creators are creative. They just don't know how to grow a channel. It's two different things. It's two different things, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, honestly, I really feel like I met, I have met, and I'm close with one of the one of the best YouTubers ever. And people people probably will see it later on. They're gonna see it later on. But right now, people don't know. People don't know. People like you know how many people stole Steve videos? We could we could go like a list. It's a like a fat list of people. It's a fat list of creators out there that done it. But, but there's nothing wrong with that, though, chat. You know why? Because it's YouTube, bro. And what does black YouTube do? They steal other people's videos and then just copy the trend and redo the trend. It's smart. It's smart, chat. It's not like it's like, okay, we steal it. No, it's not that. It's not that. It's smart. They see the trend. The trend hits. And boom, every dollar does a trend. Everybody do the trend. They ride the trend until it's done. They ride the wave until it's done. But when they get their subs, now they can do their own content. That's how black YouTube works, y'all. Like, it's not like no entertainment, bro. A lot of a lot of the black YouTube is not entertaining, bro. Like, it's real. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Chat, I know what I'm talking about, bro. I, I swear to God, I know what I'm talking about, bro. I, I've been doing this for a minute, bro. <clears throat> I'm doing this for a minute, bro. Chat, I'm telling y'all, bro. I am telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, bro. No suckage, though, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Ne in the next few years, Katie Williams exposed this in comedy. Hey, yeah, but like, I was, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like bigger, like bigger people still like small people stuff. It's just like cat, cat Williams. That's what I'm saying. It'd be like that, bro. Like you can't really, you can't really get mad about that though. But I'm, I promise y'all, bro. If y'all don't know him right now, y'all will know him now. I swear to God, give me, give him like probably like three years, bro. I, I promise you, y'all will know him. He doesn't really do YouTube mainly now. He doesn't do YouTube mainly now. But he's probably single-handedly probably one of the most creative YouTubers I have ever met. Ever met. And I I even, bro, I knew him when he started his channel. I knew him when he started his channel, bro. I promise, bro, like, look, bro, like, check, y'all thought I was capping, bro. I showed y'all the date. Matter of fact, did he drop two of them? Did he drop two of them? Let's see if he dropped two of them, bro. Let's see, bro. Did he drop two of them? Did he, did he get two of them out by the time he even dropped the one? Did 
He said, another he said one? Steve Harvey steal jokes and Robin Chat. Williams never had an original joke. Chat, Chat, look at this, bro. Steve dropped two of them. Not only, not one. Chat, not one. Chat, not one. But two. Now let's now let's let's look at it. Let's look at it, chat. Let's look at this. October 10th, 2021. Y'all follow me, chat. Y'all follow me. He dropped this This is his most viewed video ever. Chat. October 10th, 2021. Y'all see this. Now look at this. Now look at this, chat. Let me show you. Let me show y'all how. Let me show y'all. Let me just show y'all. Why would he fucking use their shower nasty? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Now it was just a prank though. It was just a prank. It was a video idea. Look at this. October 7, 2021, chat. Y'all see this, right? That's not one. Not only one. Not only one, right? We can go back to his channel, right? That's that's one. That's one. He dropped two of them and he has one of them unlisted. I remember there's another one. I'm trying to tell y'all, chat, bro. He had he has dropped two of these. That was October 7th. My my now what day was this? October 6th. So he dropped two days back to back, chat. Am I wrong? Y'all see y'all see the numbers. Y'all see the numbers. This thing come with a switch. Uh off got hit with the bleak. The glizz ain't come with a dick. You play with the mall, we sit in the bleach. Canyon just subscribed. Gang. Hey Canyon, I appreciate you for that sub, bro. Give me a kiss, bro. Give me. But I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you for the sub, bro. Yeah. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you, man. Ten months is crazy. Holy shit. Ten months. I need to start making badges, bro. You better come up on a year. I need to make a year badge, bro. That's crazy, bro. I think about be sub for a whole year. Be sub for a whole year. But chat, please click like, bro. Honestly, chat right now. I need everybody to screen record right now. I swear to God, screen record this right now. Everybody, please screen record, please. Please scream record. Please scream record. Please scream record. Clip. Do whatever you have to do, bro. I do because I don't care, bro. This is probably the biggest and probably best YouTuber I have ever met. I did YouTube before him. Best YouTuber I have met. I'm gonna say that. Like, keep it a straight man. Best YouTuber I have ever met. Creative, entertaining. The only thing he doesn't have to show for it is the numbers. Now look, let me show you how creative he is. Not only did he do this right once, right? Not only did no chat. Only, not only did he do it once, right? No one, no. Not only did it once, chat. Let me show y'all. Not once, right? But twice. And drop, uh, and drop, and drop two back to back days. Let me show you this, bro. That was October sixth. This is October seventh, right here, right? Now let me show y'all this, bro. Let me show y'all this. October tenth, right? I, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all how how creative he is. Not only, not only was that video so creative, you know it, he comes up with million view video ideas when he revived a whole a whole dude's YouTube channel. That's his most viewed video, bro. He watched. He watched, bro. Went to the crib and said, "Yo, let me go do this video." Went and did the vid, dropped the vid, and to this day, 1.4 mil. Why did J. Steve bring Crazy Go Crazy to in and out Because they heard the burgers were so good, they wanted to see if Crazy Go Crazy could go crazier for the double-double with extra cheese. Chad, what's he talking about, y'all? What's he talking about? But nah, listen, chat. I'm gonna be a hundred. I'm gonna be a hundred. He dropped this December tenth, bro. Nah, I, I get, I get the joke, bro. I get the joke, bro. But like, chat, bro. I'm gonna be a hundred. Y'all see all these numbers, bro. Y'all see, y'all see these numbers. Two hundred k. Doesn't matter, bro. Doesn't matter, chat. I'm gonna be a hundred, bro. Hey man, look, man. This not. I'm gonna be a hundred, chat. And y'all gonna, and y'all gonna see it. Y'all are going to see it. I promise you. And if y'all if y'all don't see this now, y'all will see it then. Y'all will see it then. Y'all will see it then. I promise you, you will. The most creative YouTuber I have ever met. Let me say, not even say creative YouTuber. Creative, creative content creator I ever met. Most creative. I'm not gonna lie. 
the thought he puts into a video is different. And I'm going to tell you this. You want me to tell you why I know he copied his video chat? You want me to tell you how I know he did? Because Vontae is not that type of YouTuber, bro. Not, like, all the people that copy his videos are not those type of YouTubers. They're lifestyle YouTubers, bro. They don't do entertaining videos, bro. Bro, everyone used to love Jack Doherty, but now everyone fucking hates him. Because he be doing weird stuff, bro. Jack be doing weird stuff, bro. But he's, he never did nothing weird to me, so I can't say he's weird, bro. You feel me? No, that's Cap. I can't. I can still say he's weird, but I can't hate him. You feel me? But like, chat, bro. Right here. If you're not sub to this channel, bro, I'm not going to lie. You probably see if you inside the black community of YouTube, you have probably seen a lot of your creators do videos and he got off this banned channel. On kick somehow. Yeah, I don't know how you get banned on kick. All that crazy videos they do up there. This is the this is the big uh the best creative YouTuber I've ever seen. One of. One of. He doesn't have the numbers to prove it. Here's a couple ideas he did. One video that I could really see a whole series like trash rapper. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like y'all know like bro, he start bro, listen, he has started a lot. Not tell you like not not a lot, but like a lot, a lot, a lot of trends that y'all see. You feel me? He just not up, which is cool. It happens, but I promise you, when he gets an audience, though, you might be seeing the next Corey Kenshin, bro. But just an IRL style, IRL style. I'm like, bro, I, I honestly, I'm going to be 100. I have never seen somebody think out a video like that or think out content like that, bro. Steady, come on. I'm telling you, bro, listen, chat. I'm telling y'all, bro, if he, like, when he gets that at least, like, 50K, 50,000 people to come back and watch him, he will get constant mill videos like this. It will just keep hitting. You know why? Because he's creative. A lot of people are not creative like that, bro. He's creative, bro. And yeah, and a lot of people talk about like, yeah, bro, he's an influence. A lot of people that do uh that are influence don't have influence, bro. And if you copy videos, bro, I'm gonna be a hundred, bro. You don't have no influence, bro. That's all I'm gonna say about that, bro. But honestly, if you haven't known the name, bro, y'all will know the name someday. And y'all will come back to this clip. Y'all will come back to this clip. Y'all be like, damn, bro, J Stell was actually speaking truth. No matter where I'm at, years from now. Be on it, but that's all I'm saying about that though, chat. I'm gonna be real with y'all, bro. There's a lot of YouTubers like that though, but he's like probably one of the most creative YouTubers I have ever met, bro. Dollars, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You was dead broke. No dick. You was dead broke, and your excuse was I wasn't broke. You know, YouTube pay every month. You so know what, can... yo, chat. You know what's real funny though? He probably actually know that Steve did it though. Only reason why, only reason why I say that, right? He says this. So saying I fell off. So he did. Imagine someone just in download the video and post it to, on your channel. That'd be crazy. Lambert, I'd be tight. I ain't gonna lie. Month to month, if somebody did that to me, I'd be tight, bro. Look, I'm, I'm, I'll be mad, YouTube, bro. bro. You're not getting paid at all. And you don't have no other stream of income. The only other stream of income you had was your girl doing drop shipping business. And that shit not doing well. Damn. But her shit probably would, but your shit wasn't. I don't even know her that much. I don't even want to speak on her. Damn, but why? You came to me. <laughs> I you mean, came I can to do me that. And you told me I got a Chrome that extension? your girl shit yeah, not chill. doing so good right now. I don't like that. Sean, yo, can you help me with Facebook? But Sean told you, Ra is the person with the Facebook shit, but you was too scared to ask me because of your pride, bro. You was too scared to, 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 to tell me because of your pride, bro. This is why you want your girl fall out. Your girl got a lawsuit for I think five hundred thousand or four hundred thousand, and you expecting her to give you money out of her five hundred or four hundred thousand, and Damn. that's why you don't fuck with your girl. Now nah, let's tell the fucking truth, nigga. Mm. That's why you don't fuck with her because you feel like out of her five hundred or four hundred thousand that she got for a lawsuit, you felt like she was supposed to give you money out of that lawsuit. And she's watching this video, you watching this video, and Shorty know what I'm talking about. Because Vontae went through your shit and he found out that you got a lawsuit for five hundred or four hundred thousand dollars. And that's why bro started acting weird. Because why? Vontae told us about this shit, bruh. He told us about it. And that's why I'm I'm putting it out now there. That's crazy. Now that's crazy. Now that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, because she actually won the lawsuit, but she's about to have people on her head before. <laughs> 
I don't know if you should have said that, bro. She might be in danger. Not Vontae, but she actually might be in danger after this video. That's crazy. Now, here's the thing. Every trip that we would take to New York, Miami, everywhere we would go, that Lambo, the, the Lamborghini Urus, the first time we ever drive in a Lamborghini Urus, all that shit in Miami, Rob paid for it. I'm going to show y'all the screenshot right here where I had the cash app, his mom, $1,900. I forgot what he had to pay. Oh, the hotel room in New York. He had to pay for a hotel room in New York because he was going to leave from Richmond. I was going to leave from Virginia Beach. So home in New York. Hey, Vontae, make it yet. And not yet, he's 25 minutes away. That nigga dropped screenshot of his mom, bro. That's crazy. Nah, screenshot of your mom is crazy work, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy work, bro. Hey, hun, here's the amount, my cash up. Damn. Damn, bro. I can't lie, bro. This is crazy work, bro. It's weird that they was this close. They were, like, really that close, bro, and that shit happened to him, bro. Chat, like, honestly, if y'all have friends, bro, y'all should always try to talk it out, bro. No matter how crazy it is, unless somebody really has gotten killed or, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'll say, like, stealing and all the other stuff, bro. Talk it out, but you can still keep, bro, at a, at a distance for real. But, like, I feel like y'all should never stop being friends, bro. Like, y'all get a, a connection, bro. I mean, it's bro steal from you, okay? That, that happens, but, like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can still be cool and shit, but y'all just gotta keep each other at a distance. More of, um, it's like fighting all the other stuff, bro. Like, it happens, bro. Be humans, bro. I'm not gonna say it still ain't happens. That's, that's fucked up, but like, fighting and stuff, it happens, bro. I just feel, I just feel like you make a connection with people. Like, you can't make a connection with being friends with everybody, bro. Like, it just don't happen like that. Like, feel me? So I feel like when you fall out as friends, bro, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should still be together. Just go blue face at this point. What do you mean go to blue face? Hey, what's up, Mitzi? What's up with you? I miss you. I forgot. What's up? Woody had to pay. Oh, the hotel room in New York. Mitzi. He had to pay for a hotel room in New York because he was going to leave from Richmond. I was going to leave from Virginia Beach, so he had to pay for his shit before he get there. I had to send his mama that. Why would I have Auntie mom cash out? Look, I'm going to send y'all both the screenshots right here. They are right here. When we went to Miami from New York, um, and... Fun fact, I had to pay for your gas for you to drive to New York to get content. Sticky notes are hard to keep Think track of. Adding. Notes apps don't keep you on schedule. Yeah, Mincy, what's up with you, bro? Calendars don't adapt to your change. Oh, when we went to man. Miami, we went we rent that Lambo, we rent that penthouse. I pay for all that shit. I got the Lambo for you because you was doing car POV videos. I got you that Lambo so you could make your car POV you videos. Man, bro. I'm cooling you. I did a lot that Living I'm life. just disappointed of how you portrayed raw on the internet to be in raw not humbly and raw not this did you yeah i'm gonna play a clip right now i'm gonna take myself off the screen i'm gonna put the video in right now on vante's birthday in richmond vante was so broke on his birthday like this nigga couldn't even fucking buy a shoes like a shoes for his birthday no shoes no shirt no nothing what i did i drove to richmond bruh I drove to Richmond, it's a two hour drive from, drive from Virginia Beach, and I took him to the shoe store that he always just, he just go to the store and walk around in that shit, looking stupid as fuck, window shopping every single day. So what I would do, what, what I did was, he told me that, yo, it's my birthday, I don't got, what, 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 what. I drove to Richmond two hours, bro. Took this nigga to the store. I told him, grab whatever in the store you need, I will pay for it, right? I vlogged that shit, that's like two years ago. But the type of person I am, the genuine person that I am, I never posted that video. Like he has been for that. He has been for that chat. Yes. Clip ever. The internet never seen that clip. But I'm gonna play it right now. We in the shoe store. We in the shoe store with it, nigga. Look. You see, uh, you see any two pair of shoes in here you like? Get them. I'm gonna pay for them. No, I'm dead serious. Any two pair of shoes you, you like in here? Why, man? No way. You lying, bro. I'm dead serious. Put it on. Put it on Booba. On Booba? Nigga, any two pair of shoes in here you like? Just grab them. These new. Jay, hey. Sun, Chan, Chan, Sun, Chan, how you living? How you living? But nah, honestly, chat though, it's weird because they were so close. Like, um, when I first met them, they were with each other. I always see them grinding together, so. 
This is kind of cool. weird to actually see, though. Nigga, any type of shoes in here you like. That's gravel. These new. These dumb new. I like Malik. It's, it's just a lot on the internet. That yes, I feel like Malik. Clear, that's crazy. You know, that's crazy, bro. He said he feel like Malik, bro. If y'all don't know, bro, that's a pretty boy Fredo reference. Fredo brought that man to a shoe store. That's crazy work, bro. Saying a video and, is like, crazy. I really don't care for you know the little twelve year old and fourteen year old in the comments like raw this, raw that, ha ha, Vante this, Vante. I really don't care for it. I just feel like now it's it's kind of like my brand. That's 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 my brand, and I'm not gonna have all this information and be being this genuine person. And just let somebody walk over that like that. I can't. I can't allow that for too long. I know I care about your mental health. Smoking on Fredo. Like brother, but it's so like, bro, Fredo. it's only so much I'm gonna allow to happen. That boy I Halo. That shit for going on too long. You cross the line Fredo, when you came to my I can lie. Fredo's a, is a tough, to a consecrated too. He just a because I know person, where bro. you live. I have your address. Terrible person. But I'm being the bigger person, and I'm just gonna let you have that standing on my car because if, if you was really standing on. Yo, I'm on, I'm on stream. I'm reacting to it on stream. I'm reacting to it on stream. Oh, uh, so I should wait? Yeah. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Uh, but bro, the bigger person, crazy. and I'm just I'm gonna, gonna go fraud. Yeah, stuff. like, uh, yeah, Fredo. I can't lie. Yeah, Fredo's a fraud for sure. He's a terrible person. But I can't say the same thing about his content though, bro. He's probably one of. <laughs> Content wise, bro, let's be real, bro. Like, let's be real. Content, he is probably like probably one of the best people ever. In the black community. In the black community. As a person though, he's terrible. He's like a terrible person, for sure. For sure. Great dad, terrible person. <laughs> he's a terrible person, bro. But as car, a content creator, bro, he is. You was really standing on business. Them. You would have texted me or call me and say, "Come down, says I'm finna stand on your car." That's when you would have really be standing on business. That if you text me or call me like, "Yo, come downstairs," I'm about to stand on your car right now. What you did? You stand on my car and you drove back to Virginia. I can cook any of y'all in Brawlhalla. I'm just not playing Brawlhalla right now, bro. You ain't did that shit. So that's what standing on business is. If you was really standing on business, you come over here and you broke, break, call me downstairs and break my window in front of me, nigga. That's standing on business. That scary ass shit. You stand on my shit and drive to Virginia. That's pussy as fuck. And that's not standing on business. So who really looks stupid, nigga? I was upstairs sleep when you come downstairs and stand on my car. How the fuck is that standing on business, nigga? How? How is that standing on business, bro? Be fucking for real. You not standing on business. I'm not gonna go too much in detail. I just want y'all to know, I have a lot more to say and a lot more proof, but. Taking that to the grave, bro. Never making another video about this situation. I just want y'all to know, Ra is not the villain. Ra is, you know, all that Ra is not humble shit is a troll, and I run with it because I think it's actually funny because I know how genuine, I know the type of person I am. So I just troll back. I'm like, yeah, be like, Ra, they said Ra not humble. Yeah, I'm not humble, fuck you. But bro, all that shit is a troll, bro. Like these niggas want Ra to look like the bad person, but why y'all think Ra keep progressing? Why y'all think Ra keep going up to the top? Because I don't pay attention to these shits. I'm too mature, I'm too old, bro. It's like I'm just focused on, you know, winning and taking care of my family and, and helping my friends out, bro. But do the math, why y'all think these niggas don't have friends and I have all the friends in the world that support me to the fullest, friends in the world, you know, that, 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 that show me real love because real recognize real. And for all the people that think we in competition, you can think what you want. It's not a competition. We motivate each other, and we just help each other win, bro. So if y'all think that's competition, y'all low-minded, and y'all don't want better for yourself, and y'all want to be around people that, you know, you could go buy a Lambo, and they just sit there and can't buy it. So that make y'all a boss in y'all friend group. Nah, I want to be around friends. If I go buy a Lambo, they go buy a Lambo. The other person go buy a Lambo. The other person go buy a Lambo. I never want to be friends with my friends. <laughs> I never want them to look at me like, oh shit, I wish I could have got a Lambo. <laughs> nah, we're going to be around each other that we could all win and not just be around a friend group where I'm the boss, nigga. When we pop outside, people people looking at me, nigga. And that's what y'all want. That's what y'all want. Y'all want to be the big person in every situation. But that shit not sliding over here. We're going to let everybody win. Everybody in surf is going to be able to buy Lambos, track cars, Hellcat. And yeah, y'all can call it competition all y'all want. So y'all winning. None of us going to be called a boss or none of us going to be called like, oh, that's him. That's Nah, that's them. And that's 
the end of my, you know, clearing my name and letting letting y'all know what's going on. So once which I know I love y'all. Um, new video, new car video coming soon. I don't think I'm dropping on this channel. I think it just ended the video. Fuck it, huh? Like just mid sentence. Fuck it. Um. I'll say this about the video, but I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the beginning part was not needed at all. I just didn't, like, we did not have to hear what the girls had to say. I don't think we need to hear that, to be honest, bro. Like, that part really didn't matter, chat. I'm not gonna lie. What did matter, I did like the end of the part when Ross started talking. When he started talking, that was actually way better. I'm not gonna hold you. That was actually